What's good, y'all? What's happening, man? It's Flyer Kicks, and welcome back to the channel. Now, if this is your first time here, man, I appreciate you for stopping by. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, join the Frequent Flyers Club, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out, drop a like, drop a comment if you like the content, and last but not least, man, I got my IG name listed right here down below. Head over to IG, give me a follow, let's interact on there as well. And let's get right into it, man. Y'all seen the title, y'all seen the thumbnail. Let's get into these joints, man. You see the box, here we have the Nike Airship, man. This joint got a lot of hype when Nigel Sylvester dropped his um, bike air pair. Similar pair, not exactly the same. Let's get into these differences, man. Let's get into the shoe. Now here we have the box, man. All cream box with the blue writing on it. Blue Nike here, here, all the way around, man. And the tag on this joint reads, Jordan Airship PESP, Summit White, Diffuse Blue. This is a size 13, man, it didn't have a 12. It's all good though. I'm not sure if it's just my box that got a little oxidation or something, or if every box uh, has this, I'll be able to check some reviews and stuff when I finish recording this. But it starts with like a light uh, cell on this side and it kind of fades into like a darker cream cell. I'm not sure if that's just my box or if that's everyone's box, but I grabbed these joints this morning from um, from my mom and year here in Houston. And um, let's get into it, bro. Box top, nothing, regular box on the inside. Has the airship owner's manual here, man. If you've seen any airship before, bro, it's pretty much the same. That's all the other pairs, man. Just going over the specification of the shoe, um, just how the shoe started and things like that. Has the specs here on the inside of the outsole, and then on the back it has the specs of the whole shoe, man. Like that, I always like the dope little extra inserts. Regular white paper here, nothing special with the paper. Let's get into these shoes, man. People have been waiting on these since um, Nigel Sylvester and Nike used that boy to hype these joints up. And we finally got them, man. Let's get into it. Now, here we have the Jordan Airship, man. This joint would be, in my opinion, this will be considered the UNC um, colorway of the pack. They did release a red pair as well. And I consider that the Chicago Bulls pair. Now, um, the reason this joint says every game on the back, um, when Jordan first got to the league, man, he wore his UNC um, North Carolina practice shorts underneath um, his game shorts. So that's why they have the blue pair. This is for UNC. This is for the actual color of the blue shorts that he wore under his game shorts. And they released a red pair just showing that um, from the Chicago Bulls, the white and red colorway of their jersey. So that's where the two colorways of the pack came from. But like I said, man, this is the uh, Diffuse blue pair. Um, I relate these to UNC, like I said, man. And it comes in an all sale upper, cracked leather, all the way around, man. Everything that you see going across the upper of this shoe, man, is in a cracked um, cell cream leather. Has that nice cream midsole. Diffused blue on the outsole as well. It's giving the same vibes as the Lost and Found. They gave these joints like a vintage look with the um, aged midsole and with the aging going across the outsole of the shoe as well. Has that Nike on the bottom there. Getting into the tongue, man, it does have a cell tongue with the Nike Air. Big check on there, just like they do on the 85s, man, and that diffuse blue as well. It has some nice blue suede going across those eye stays, across the um, lace holes, going across that swoosh just the same, like a soft shag um, suede that they used. And on the back of the shoe, it says every game. Like I said, he wore his blue UNC shorts under his um, game shorts every game throughout his like, rookie year, I believe. And, um, like I said, that's where the inspiration from this pack came from. This is the first shoe that he wore before the Jordan one. So that's why they related the every game story with um, the airship, man. This is the first shoe that he wore, man. So it all kind of makes sense. I like the Jordan brand um, kind of stepped away from throwing just the colors on the airship like they did with the yellow, the orange, the green, and things like that. They did look good. But um, with the shoe that's not very popular, it's not a Jordan one, even though it does look kind of um, similar. Um, you got to kind of throw stories on these in order to get these to sell, in my opinion. If they would have just dropped um, these in like a regular blue colorway without the suede, I don't think they would have sold like that, man. You see the pack um, from All-Star Weekend. I think that was 2018, 2019, whatever that was, All-Star Weekend. They dropped the uh, New Beginnings pack with the Airship, the Man Year Airship. But other than that, man, the um, Airship hadn't really sold out like that. It hadn't really been like a hot release, but I think this pack... It's a good job by Jordan Brand, man. In specific, with this blue pair, man. I love the materials. I like the suede. The red pair is nice, but it is all leather all the way around. It has the same cracked leather, but instead of the blue suede, they use like a red smooth leather going all the way around. And I feel that those look a lot better in hand. I saw them today in store, but the blue pair was the prize. Now, in my opinion, man, Jordan Brand knew what they were doing, man. They let Nigel Sylvester do like a custom PE 
um, that he made like a handful of pairs of the bike airs. That's the one that really got these joints going crazy. And a lot of people were paying like crazy prices for these to get a pair when they were related to Nigel Sylvester. But once um, a lot of the blogs and things like that kind of uh, diffused that situation and we've seen that this is an every game pack and not really related to Nigel, but just giving a story about Jordan in his early years in the NBA, the um, demand and the prices went way, way, way down, man. These were going for like 650, 700 that shows like not even two months ago, maybe like last month, the prices were still high on these. And today, release day, um, prices like right around 200 in this blue pair, a little less than the smaller sizes. And the red pair is like 180 or less across the board, man. So um, this one, I would say, um, has a lot more hype and is a lot more sought after due to Nigel Sylvester. And I gotta give it up to Jordan Brand. They did their thing with um, with the marketing, man. You gotta play the games, man. They got a lot of people um with buying these early even though they weren't selling the early pairs they got a lot of people with the early hype um, by using nigel sylvester if that nigel sylvester pair would have released as his pair with the bike air on the back that resale would have been 400 500 bucks instant sellout but if you were still looking for these right now they still have pairs technically today in houston um but only in the smaller sizes as far as the blue pair goes the red um, is kind of, they have all sizes, maybe a few missing in between, but um, they still had a lot of sizes in the red for sure. A lot of people wanted this blue pair, man. And it's a nice one, man. I can't lie. This is a really nice shoe. Now getting into the left shoe, just the same as the right, man. It has that cracked leather all the way around, man. That smooth cracked leather with the um, cell colorway. Has that all cell midsole, the fuse blue on the outsole with the Asian that looks uh, very similar to the Lost and Founds. Come with an extra set of cell laces. And it has a tag on here that is talking about the cracked leather, I believe. And yeah, this tag says, please note, natural crack seen on the upper is normal due to the random crackle ink application. So basically then you know that these joints are cracked on purpose, then that is not a flaw. But they do have cracked leather all the way around, man. You can see that going all the way around the back of the shoe, going around those mid panels, going around that toe box as well, man. Super nice pair, bro. I really like the um, extra details they added on these, bro. They're clean, man, I can't lie to you. The only other airship that I actually kept in my collection is the I'm I'm Year pair. Um, I actually got that box signed by James Whitner, who, who is the owner of I'm I'm Year, if you don't know that. Um, I met him at Texas Southern. They did a free game um, session up there. I met him, signed the um, box, man. I gave him a Texas Southern hat. So that one holds like a special place for me, for sure. But um, other than that, bro, the only other airship I really, really want is the green pair. Green is my favorite color. And I may circle back and try to get the red pair, but my first priority right now is to swap this 13 for a 12, man. They didn't have a 12 um, this morning. They didn't get their shipment initially. I was there first in line. Um, I came back an hour later, they had got their shipment, but they only had a 13, no 12. So it is what it is. Hopefully I can swap these joints, man. If you're a size 13 and you're looking for these and you have a size 12, or if you're just a 13 and you look for these pair, man, hit me. I'll try to get them, let them go for a good price just so I can get my 12, man. I really need a size 12 in these joints, bro. These joints are super dope. Now, as far as the retail on these shoes, man, these joints retail for 140 bucks. Um, in Texas, that's 151 out the door. Um, so a cheap shoe, um, as far as the Jordan brand side of things, man, you don't really see Jordans going for um, that low anymore besides like Jordan 1 mids. I know this isn't a Jordan 1, but this kind of falls in the same boat as Jordan 1's for me. Um, but like I said, they're 140 bucks, 150 out the door. And resale on the blue pair is max like 200, 210 bucks for the big sizes, 180 and down for like the smaller sizes, man. So if you want them, definitely very affordable, bro. They didn't drop online on sneakers, on Nike or anything, maybe bodega i think was the only store that dropped pairs online a lot of people did in store um, for this release for both pairs man so you may have to hit your aftermarket apps and just check out your local facebook groups and things like that and maybe they'll pop up but um i didn't see too too many pairs of these and um i'm not sure how it will affect the resale market with them not releasing online but like i said man the price isn't that high right now i don't expect it to shoot up at least not any time in the immediate, immediate future. But um, if you want these, bro, definitely just check around, bro. You'll be able to grab them for sure. But in my opinion, bro, this is a super dope personal pair. Um, like I said, this is a 13. Trying to go ahead and lock in a 12. So if you got a 12, hit me. Let's make it happen, man. Let's make a swap or something for these, man. If you're trying to sell that 12, let's swap. Let me get that 12, man. 
we can get this 13 and make the exact same bread, man. Y'all hit me, and let's see what we can do about these. Now, as far as QC on these joints, man, I didn't see any problems, bro. Um, the shoe is pretty smooth all the way around. No glue, no um, stitching errors or anything like that. Like I said, my box did have, I'm not sure if it was oxidation. I have to watch some other reviews and see if the box is supposed to transition from a light cell to a dark cell, but my box uh, is like a little discolored maybe, or it's done like that on purpose, I'm not sure. But other than that, man, no flaws on the box, no flaws on the packaging, um, no flaws on the shoes at all, man. I really like these joints, bro. Now, as far as the sock liner, man, it is a slight darker blue than it is on the outside with the diffuse blue. This is kind of more of a powder blue. I'm um, going towards the UNC and this is towards like that darker blue that UNC uses as well and, um, It's solid for sure. The insoles are Cream insoles with the blue Jordan jump man on the inside right there and Yeah, both sides have the jump man on the insole. So I mean it's solid. It's a really nice shoe, bro Not mad at it. They have the laces uh, that are factory installed matching that darker blue that's on the um, inside of the sock liner I like that. I like the blue laces for sure. I definitely be going blue over the cream. And I like the different color blue. It just adds like a different um, offset of colors going against that cream tongue, that cream tongue tag, man. I like the darker blues just to go um, set off against that um, eye stays and go against those lace holes. I think that'll be a really good look. Now getting into the details one last time, man. It has the crack leather upper all the way across. It has the light blue suede going across the eye stays and the lace holes. Going across that swoosh as well. And also going across that collar of the upper of the shoe has that nice soft suede light blue then it comes with that darker blue on the inside on the laces as well as the tongue tag and that darker blue also matches the blue that is on the outsole as well with that aged lost and found style vibe really clean shoe man y'all let me know how you guys are feeling about these did you cop if so where from um, did you get lucky? Are you really even looking for these? Or did this release go out the window when you seen that it wasn't a Nigel Sylvester collab, man? Y'all let me know how you guys are honestly feeling about these. Did you like these over the red pair or is the red pair more your cup of tea, man? Y'all leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you guys are feeling about these. But overall, man, I just about wraps it up for this video. Just want to give you guys a quick unboxing and review of the Diffuse Blue Pair of the Jordan Airship. The every game pack, man. I got the blue pair. I'll circle back for the red pair one day, man. Their prices aren't too crazy, so I'll definitely be able to grab them soon. Let me know how you guys are feeling about these, man. Just a cop for you drop, you flipping, skipping. Just let me know your honest opinion about these, man. Leave a comment down below. Until next time on the next video, man. We got the blue pair of the every game airships. Peace.